Back at the wash plant, the culvert pipe is fixed. Fire in the hole, buddy. Fire in the hole. All right, got water coming on. Drama coming on. Get going, boys. Get that go. I think that was it, Nate. This looks a lot better. With water pressure back up, mud shouldn't clog the sluice box. We are good to go, guys. We are good to go. Uh, just give me a minute. Let me watch here. All the time you need, buddy. Ah, uh, it's starting to build up again. It's just not cleaning up. Ah, uh, kill it, Chris. Shut it down. I mean, look how dirty it is. I mean, look at this. We're shut down for the day, and I know the next question will be, what do you think of that? Well, so it's a bunch of right now. You know, this sucks. You know, it's it's taking food away from our freaking families. It just sucks. That's all there is to it. Water pressure is ruled out as the culprit. So Dave turns his attention to the pay dirt he's feeding into the wash plant. He's hoping historical maps can shed more light on the land around how he's cut. It's always a mystery where the old timers went. And I don't know why they left this little wedge for us. It's clear they didn't mind that. It's quite interesting. I don't understand why. Millions of years ago, gold-rich sediment sat just below the Drumlumen Lode and was washed down onto this plateau, forming what's called an alluvial fan. In the late 19th century, the area was extensively mined, but the three acres of Howie's Cut was left untouched by the old timers. And now Dave's worried there's a reason why. So see the way I'm getting gravel? And then I'm getting our false bedrock. With the pay dirt now exposed in the creek, Dave is looking for clues as to why the wash plant is clogged with mud. This is our first cut. We're trying to figure the ground out. Every piece of ground you're ever on is different. See these little channels? These are the channels that the gold will be in. But look at that. That's sticky clay. Gold will not go through that. This clay doesn't run through the plant. It's crap. It's terrible for our wash plant. God dang it. <laughs> 